Yo, what's up everybody? Good morning, good morning, and I just seen that my um, air conditioner, not air conditioner, what would you call that? Your heater, cooler, dial? Dial? Because in my car it's not autom it's not automated, it's not digital, it's uh, manpower, so I gotta pull it to the right or pull it to the left depending on how hot or how cold I want it. So, it is stuffy in my car. Hopefully that'll be enough for now. Back to my point, good morning, good morning. I am on my way to go meet up with the gentleman who has a BYS wing, and if you know anything about the BYS wing, then you should know this. There are probably like two different options that you see on a lot of hatchbacks, what I call the duck bill, what most people call the duck bill, uh, and then what everyone calls the BYS wing. So. I plan on in the future getting a gold carbon fiber BYS wing but for the time being I want to just have the BYS wing on my hatch I have an option or a friend that might potentially have a duckbill wing and hopefully that works out for me in the future or soon whenever it may be but for the meantime and in between time I think that going this route is something that I wanted to do. I've already waited like over two weeks to get this uh, gentleman to respond to me and I and he finally did. So I'm about to go pull out money, go meet with him, get this wing and install it today. I know that I haven't been really using my hatch for the past two days, but the main reason for that is yesterday I ordered the TPS sensor. I was gonna get a, a BWR uh, racing uh, uh, throttle position sensor, but I felt like, why, why? I should just spend the 10 bucks to get a Bosch one from eBay. It'll get here next week. So it's, it says uh, by Friday, usually they, the packages that I've um, shipped out for that are in California come within like three days, like actual business days. So maybe I'll be able to get it before Friday. But if I don't, you know, worst case scenario, I'll be having that throttle position center Friday. So we'll be able to um, calibrate it hopefully on my next day off after that. If not sooner, I hope sooner, but whatever. Then I also hopefully will be ordering my fuel injectors because from the likes of it or from what's been happening I haven't seen any improvement from that um, from that royal purple and I've been patient but maybe I haven't even ran the full gist of what it is it's that it's supposed to do and it takes the entire tank of gas and then another tank of gas and I know that that's what my plan was but at this point if my car is still bogging out and I know that one of the fuel injectors is backed up am I not just going to hurt my car more by by consistently driving through and to the point where it bogs out to find out that that cleaner is not working. Might as well just invest in the refurbished, um, reconditioned, recertified Honda fuel injectors. So first part of today, picking up this wing. You see, stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Yo, what's up everybody? So I'm sitting here with the wing. I did officially get it. And now we're gonna install it really quick. It should just be like four screws, gotta pull off the light. I think that most of you guys will already know how to do this. So let's go ahead and uh, do the install really quick because I'm excited to see the car with the new wing. You should be too, it's something for us. For me mostly, but us. All right, so in order to get the other wing on, we have to take off these four bolts. As soon as we take off these four bolts, this should come off, and then we could slide off the wing and put the other wing on. It might be a little bit more difficult than that, but for the most part, that's what it is, and I should be able to sell this wing. Hopefully somebody needs it. So, let's start. So now you can see it just popped right off. I should take off all these wires, and then we'll see from there. Cool. Uh, relaxing so if you so you can see my hatch and me so I finally finished installing the the wing and the one thing that I should tell you is that after you open the, the hatch and then you see those four screws you just unscrew them they're uh, 10 millimeter bolts the wing will come off 
then you gotta just finagle like the wires loose and then you keep the wires on but you tuck them under so what will happen is that the wing is gonna go over those and I guess you could technically just get rid of your antenna but it also um, I think it also has the wires to the windshield wiper if you have a windshield wiper on your hatch so none of that shit matters you could take it all off and just put plugs on it so that the water won't go into your hatch so what I did was leave them on because it's not a big deal to me and then I just closed my hatch down I had to do it a couple times and the reason why I had to do it a couple times was because as I was doing it the one thing that I noticed was that it was kind of off alignment there was a little bit of spots where it was raised up a little bit and I think it had specifically to do with there was like a lot of leftover residue or glue so I just peeled those right off and then installed it and I think it was like two times I had to screw it in and unscrew it I do and I should say I haven't done it yet I have to make a modification to one of the brackets to bring the screw hole a little bit lower so that I could actually have the four screws into the wing right now I only have three screws so the thing that the reason why that is is because it didn't end up uh, matching up all four I had to decide um, I could have matched up all four but then the wing was like off alignment so I'd rather just modify the bracket that's there to hold or harbor the wing and I figure it won't be that big of a deal because I could just always get those brackets at the junkyard no problem so here we are finally installed finally have the car looking a, a little bit more decent and I feel like this wing makes the car look too black and white I need to figure something out maybe it's the rims that need to get changed maybe